what's known as a starving student. It means that I'm in college, but with a shoestring budget. I figure if I tough it out for a few years, it'll all pay off in the end. With that in mind, my apartment was kind of a joke. It was one room, period. I had a bed, a sink, a stove, a dresser, and a TV, all crammed into one single room. The bathroom was a shared unit by me and the other three apartments on this floor. Not ideal, to say the least, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I was gonna have that diploma in my hand come hell or high water. So, my younger brother was doing a tour here at the college that I attend. He's not rolling in the green stuff either, so I told him he could stay at my place for a few days while he'd be in town. It'd be a bit cramped, but we'd manage. He agreed. I picked him up at the airport and showed him around. He had a 10 o'clock appointment for a tour, so I dropped him off and went to class myself. Afterward, we met up at the dining hall, had a quick bite to eat, and then headed back to my place. I showed him where the bathroom was and then unlocked my door. He stepped in and laughed. At first, I felt sheepish, being a little embarrassed by the sheer lack of space, but remembered it was my brother and we knew all about hardship, so I joined in and laughed as well. So I told him, tossing my bag on the bed, I have a sleeping bag and a spare pillow. There's room on the floor right next to my bed. It isn't ideal, I said. It'll do, he replied, smiling. We talked for a while and then I had another class, so he walked with me and did a sit-in to see how things went. Afterwards, he said he really enjoyed it and would definitely be applying to the school. We made our way to the dining hall again. Repetitive, but definitely the cheapest food in the area. Once done, I showed him around town a bit. The park, the mall, all the usual hangouts. Not only to show him the sights, but to kill time before we went back to the apartment. When I say it's cramped, it's not exaggerating. So the less time spent there, the better. We got there and dropped up our stuff. He watched some TV while I showered and then we traded places. He got the sleeping bag ready and lay down. I got in bed and turned the light off. Wasn't too dark though, there was a street light in the window that still kept the room lit up quite a bit. I kept meaning to get a better curtain, but never got around to it. Hey, my brother said. What is it, I answered. You know that coffee shop we passed on the corner? Yeah, I said knowing the one he was talking about. Let's go get a coffee. I frowned. Dude, we just got into bed. We have an early day tomorrow. I know, he said, but I just want to have a coffee with my bro. Is that so wrong? I sighed and then laughed. No, okay, let's do it. I turned on the light and put my shoes on and made it out to the hall. It seemed a bit uneasy as we exited the building. He stopped me. Hey, he said in a quiet voice, there's some strange guy under your bed, way in the back. He's got some stuff in front of him and didn't think I could see him, but I could see his face. I couldn't think of anything else to say to get you out of there without him noticing that I knew he was there. We called the cops. They showed up, found him, and took him away. Turns out he was a previous tenant and had keys that still work. He'd been living under my bed for months. I shuddered at the thought of it. 